G'day guys, Moose here, or Sir if you're still at school. As you can see, we're in the school workshop and I'm gonna show you how to build the best cheese board ever. And it's gonna look this good. And it's super easy, and because you guys are awesome, we're gonna do two. Real easy to do, a great one to introduce the bandsaw, in particular, a really good one to show kids how to glue up boards. So. That's it, go grab what you need to, let's get into it. Oh, and if you love what we're doing, don't forget to click the likes and subscribes. Um, check out our playlist, there's a lot of other projects to do. All right guys, let's go. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this project in particular is that it's an intro again to bandsaw use but also um, teaches kids how to glue timber together, how to laminate timbers together, do a cracking job, and it's a skill that will be with you for years to come. First thing you need to do is work out what size you want your board to be. These are basically an A4 piece of paper size and get two different co contrasting timbers. That's the key. Doesn't matter what they are, but as long as they're contrasting, same size, same thickness, and that's it, you'll be ready to go. So, you guys sort that out, we're gonna head across to the bandsaw. All right, you'll notice that this has got three gentle curves that go each way. Totally up to you, you could do just two, you could do just one, but the key is they have to be nice, gentle curves. Um, I wouldn't go to the fuss of being too accurate. I'm happy for you to eyeball it. But the key is that they're gonna be gentle kind of curves. You're not allowed to ask your bandsaw for too much. So, anything you draw will be fine. Don't worry about the ones across yet, because today we're gonna to cut these out. And if it helps, make a little mark. Make a little mark. So remember that corner has to always go back together. Make sure they're opposite each other. I think that's it. Let's go to the bandsaw. Oh, and I'm a fan of, if you're new to the bandsaw, check out my video, I'll pop a link up. But also if you want to practice, get a piece of scrap. Um, that's it, let's go to the bandsaw. Make sure your guards are in the right spot. Like I always say, we don't want to be able to get anything we can't grow back into the blade. We might set it up for that one. If you don't have a bantzer at home, you could get away with a jigsaw with this one. Um, but, good excuse to go buy a bantzer too. So, the key is, you're gonna see me do a gentle cut, a gentle curve. I don't mind if you're not even on the line, as long as it's kinda of gentle. It doesn't matter what happens, it's gotta be a gentle curve. Bantle's not gonna like it if you ask too much. And you'll find out later on, when we start to laminate our timbers together, a nice gentle curve is a much friendlier. So, I'll do a couple cuts on this, or just one and then we'll get into the main one. What I really don't want you to do is if you're cutting along and you're not happy, you're not really allowed to stop. Don't backtrack a little bit and try to fix something. Just go with the flow. As long as it's a nice and gentle curve, you can't really go wrong. So, practice if you need to. Only time it's ever gone wrong is when kids kind of try to uh, fix, 
fix it for some reason. So you're going to see me cut these off. Again, if you're new to the bandsaw, please go check out my video. Um, it'll keep you out of trouble. Exactly what we want. Just nice gentle curves. You notice I'm not even really that close to my line. It really doesn't matter at all. This is what exactly what we need. Leave them together as a pair. We're gonna go do a tiny bit of sanding before we glue. Let's go. Just before we glue it. Keep them in pairs, keep them nice and close together. Chuck them in a vise. I want you to sand it, but only a little bit, just enough to get rid of a little bit of the, um, the band saw kind of cut. All right, this is a rasp. It's obviously too rough, but I want the curve on it. So I'm gonna wrap a little bit of old, this is an old piece of 80. So I want to use the curve. Um, anything round will do, a bit of old dow with a bit of sandpaper. I want you to be careful. I've seen students in the past, they accidentally curve it or do it on an angle. We only want to skim it just a smidge, but we want to keep everything nice and flat and parallel. We just want to take a little bit of the high spots off. Make sure you're concentrating with your, your thumbs. Keep the pressure on the top. Just a quick hit, no more than that. You'll be surprised how much the glue will take out of it. Sorry, you guys can go rock out.
please, it's only a quick hit with, this, with a, a sander. Um, that's it, let's get to gluing up. I'll tell you what, I got home from work today to find that my kids have been on eBay all day. I swear, if they're still there tomorrow, I'm going to have to lower the price. Alright, you rate my gags. See you guys. Get back to work. Alright, hot tip. Please take your time with the glue up. Even though these are just simple boards, I've seen lots of projects kind of get ruined in the glue up stage, which should be pretty easy. Um, I've seen weeks of work go down the tubes because students have rushed this stage in particular. So, hot tip, take your time. Make sure you've got all your clamps, got your little slightly damp rag, you've got your glue, got a chisel to clean up the, uh, the clamps for me. So, make sure you've got all your gear, make sure you've got plenty of time, don't rush this one. I'll, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view. All right, let's glue up. All right, set your clamps up so the handles hang over the bench. Nothing worse than trying to sort your clamps out like this. Wind them back so you've got space. And I want you to be real fussy. Because our boards aren't going to be super thick, so I don't want to have to thin them down any more than they already are. Clean your clamp. Use an old chisel, not a good one. So at boards. Carefully pull them apart, but I want you to keep them in their positions. So get rid of all the tape. And start reversing them. Make sure you got your contrast correct. All right. So this one's going to be first. Because the board's not very wide, very long, two clamps will be fine. If yours is a bit longer, put a third clamp on the top in the center. I want you to do a dry run first. So don't put any glue on anything yet. Slide these down. Find one that holds it for locating. Clamp-wise, obviously these are nice and big and sturdy, so I'm going to get. A, I will get a good purchase from them. Just gently squeeze it up with no glue. Just gentle, gentle. See if you like your gaps. So this is going to be this one's going to be pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So I can go for it. Nothing worse than putting glue on everything and then working out that it's not perfect. 
And then you get glue everywhere, all over the benches of your teachers. Fold up only three. So this is the amount of glue you need to put on it. Just a little bit. You should see a nice little layer of glue everywhere. And it should go to the very edge. Now you can put gloves on if you want. But this is a good amount of glue. You don't need any more. It's just a waste. But please don't use any less. So a nice thin layer on all of it. Make sure it goes all the way to the edges. And you don't need to do the fourth one because I only need one layer between each. So, bang. Give it a little squelch. A little squelch, a little squelch. So again, you only gently put, squeeze them up. You don't have to be crazy heavy. I like where my clamps are, they're not right on the very edge, they're a little bit inside. No more than that, it's no good to me if they're too, if they're both too close to the centre. Gentle squeeze. Gentle squeeze. Just a little bit, a little bit. Alternate between each one. Get down low. Make sure that your timber, please make sure your timber is sitting flat on the rails. So that's pretty close. If you're not perfect, grab a hammer. Sorry, I'm back. If you're not perfect, grab a little hammer, give it a tap. You have to be 100% happy with your glue up. You've got to be happy to walk away from it. That looks pretty good to me. So this is PVA glue, just normal wood glue. Check with your fingers, it's all nice and flat. That's pretty good. Anything that's not perfect now has to be sorted out. If you give it 10 minutes and it's kind of stuck together, we're gonna let them dry overnight. Grab all the glue you can get to. in my class make sure you wipe the bench or you'll be sanding glue drops off so I'm pretty happy with that we'll do the next one but you guys can rock out and watch it in fast forward that uh that looks pretty good Awesome first session. You've got two boards ready to go for tomorrow. Let them dry overnight. Make sure they're nice and rock hard before we get into the next part. Um, I'll show you that one. It's just around the corner. All right, that's enough from me. Again, great job. If you love what we're doing, make sure you click all the buttons. All right, see you later.
Good morning guys, welcome back. Second session. What you're gonna see me do now is pretty much exactly what we did before. I'm gonna unclamp my boards. I'm gonna make sure I've got them back to back so they're exact mirror image of each other. I'm gonna tape them together. And then you're gonna see me do three cuts across. Same deal, nice gentle curves. Um, exactly the same setup and techniques as yesterday. So you can watch this in fast forward. All right, keep up the good work. So don't forget, got my asterisk, got my asterisk. They should be opposite each other. And they should be real careful, make sure you keep these a mirror image. I've had kids do them backwards and it kind of throws it out a little bit. So make sure your original markings are exactly where you want. You guys know that we've got chickens at home. Believe it or not, one of my chickens can actually count the amount of eggs that it lays. It's so clever, it's a math of a chicken. <laughs> All right, get back to it. Sorry, break that joke. Leave a comment. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys know what to do. Exactly the same as yesterday. Pull everything apart, make sure you keep everything where it should be so it comes back together as it should. Take your time with the gluing up. You guys can rock out, watch this in fast forward. All right, let's go. Awesome second sesh. If you got to this point, well done. Make sure you're happy to walk away from however these are glued up because we can't fix it in 10 minutes. Again, let it dry for the day. Uh, we're in no rush. Tomorrow, it'll just be a quick sand, little trim around the edges, and we'll be done. Bonus gag. One of my students came up to me the other day. I was like, sir, how am I going in class? I went, oh, not great, mate. All your grades, they're, they're kind of all wet. What do you mean? I said, oh, dude, they're all below sea level. <laughs> Sorry, get out of here. All right, guys, last session, let's go. It's only about five minutes away and we're done. All I'm gonna do, and it kind of depends on the gear you've got, either at school or in your workshops at home, I'm gonna real carefully skim the tops of these with the thicknesser. Be super careful because I want to keep as much of the thickness as I can. I'm going to skim them and then give them a final sand to finish. Um, depending on your gear, you make a good decision. But we need to get these flat, we need to sort out our edges, and then put a bit of food oil on them. So there's not much to it. Let's get cracking. Last bit, super easy. <coughs> Just give them a quick dust down. Yep, 
Now these are cheese boards. <clears throat> because they're cheese boards, you gotta kind of be careful with them, be gentle with them. I wouldn't actually ever wash these properly. You don't want to submerge them in, in, in the sink. If you need to clean them, just give them a wipe down, but that's about it. Oil-wise, because they're cheese boards and there's food's gonna go on it, um, this is just veggie oil. Any food oil will do, veggie, peanut, it really doesn't matter. Don't let them talk you into buying expensive, specialty, cheese, chopping board, um, oils. Anything out of the pantry that you use to cook with will be perfect. Uh, I'll bring the camera in and we'll do the last bit. Last bit, got my food oil, I've got a little rag and a big rag. Wipe it on. Try not to make a mess. Uh, rag or paper towel will work. It really doesn't matter. But you want to be able to wipe it on and wipe it off with your dry rag. You can dry it off straight away. You'll know you've done a good job sanding because the oil will soak in everywhere. If there's a little bit of glue anywhere, you'll see like kind of a, I guess kind of a, you know, a little white halo kind of effect. And that's just, there's a smidge of glue there and the oil can't soak in. Easy fix, just go back in and sand it just a little bit in that area. Use your, use your clamps or anything you can. Give it a little bit of airflow around it. It should feel dry to touch. And just let them dry for a half an hour. And you're good to go. So, we've got a cool pair. Different timbers. This was our maple and pine. This one's ash and pine. So anything you've got for contrast will work. Nice job guys, they look gorgeous. Check them out, not too shabby. You guys have done an awesome job. And what a cool gift for someone. 
they get a cool gift, you get to show off how clever you are. So, I'm really proud of you guys. If you love what we're up to, check out the other playlist. There's some more projects you guys can do. Good excuse to grab a few tools from down the shop and um, it's just tools and time, that's all you need. Oh, please don't forget, there's a special giveaway at the very end at the back of the bloopers, so uh, hang around. All right, peace and love guys. Sound check, Moose here, or Sir, if you're still at school. Check out, sorry. Don't forget, if you love what we're up to, uh, bugger. It's one that will last with you, will last with you for years. Bugger. Take two. And with the glue up. Even though these, even though. Sorry, too close. Um, oh. Sorry, it's a lot of arms. Great first sesh. That says it's... Bugger. <laughs> Sorry, talking rubbish. Awesome first session. Uh, that sets us up. Whoa. Sorry again. All right, let's get out, buy some more tools, and work on our next projects. All right, peace out. No, not too shabby, eh? Now, if you want to get your hands on one of these two very limited edition Sawdust and Chrome cheese boards, I'm going to send one out to whoever does the funniest kind of coolest comment and whoever shares the love of Sawdust and Chrome. Spread the word, let your mates know. Um, let's build our community up. Whoever does the best job of that gets the other one. All right, guys, hit all the buttons you meant to. Get out of here. Peace and love.